Welcome to another Uneducated Review. I'm Mike, the Uneducated Man, and this is my boomstick! Is the SIG SP2022 9mm. Full size, 3.9 inch barrel, 7.4 inch I think, uh, overall length, about an inch and a half wide. 15 plus 1, and just in case anybody's curious, nothing in there. 30 ounces unloaded. The 9mm comes with a 15 plus 1 capacity with the standard magazines. This is a polymer gun. It's got the uh, three dot fixed sights on it. It has the external hammer and decocker on it. Pros. It's very easy to learn how to operate. Very easy to learn how to do everything with. It comes with the rail for mounting a light or laser standard on the barrel. 15 plus 1 is pretty nice. It's very reliable. I've put a few thousand rounds through mine so far and I've never had a jam, a malfunction, or any issue of any kind. It's got a smooth trigger pull uh, 10 or 12 pounds, I believe, is the first. And once the hammer's back, it's something like 2 pounds. Real smooth, real crisp reset. It just feels great. It's also very easy to break down for cleaning. Now for the cons. Number one, yes. I am aware that this is not a Glock 19. So yeah, for all you Glock guys, I know. I know. Because it's not a Glock, you don't really have as many cool accessories and furniture and other things that you can get for it. There's still a few, but nowhere near the amount that you have for something like a Glock. The same goes for holsters. There's not as many options for this from companies like Alienware as you'd have for, say, a, well, a Glock. So, overall, it's absolutely not the greatest, most flashy firearm in the world, but that's not what I wanted anyway. I wanted something I'm comfortable with, something I'm accurate with, and something that feels good. And for me, very shut up and take my money. Ever since the first time I picked one of these up, I really like the feel. It's very comfortable. And when you're talking about something like a weapon, you really need to be comfortable with it and not scared of it or feel strange with it. It's all about how it feels to you. There is no best gun in the world. It's the one that you're best with. I like the grips. I like the trigger pull. Personally, I like having a hammer on a gun. Once again, sorry Glock guys. The decocker is pretty cool. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> and overall, it's just a really great weapon that is very comfortable and I am very, very accurate with without really having to think about it very much. For around $600, I'd say that this is a great buy. Some people prefer your striker fire like a Glock, but for me, this one's perfect. Since it's full size, it might not be great for carry for everybody, but I'm a big enough person to where it's good for me and good for everything I need it for. The ease of use, the reliability, durability, thumbs up for me. It may not be for everybody, but for this uneducated man, it's definitely been worth it. Yeah. <laughs>